This lesson helps you understand zero and negative exponents. If you apply the division rule to this expression, you get 5 to the power of 4 minus 4, which is 5 to the 0. Since 5 to the 4 over 5 to the 4 is equal to 1, you can see that 5 to the 0 must be equal to 1. So the rule is any expression to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So m to the power of 0 is equal to 1, with parentheses 3x to the power of 0 is also equal to 1. If you apply the division rule to this expression, you get 5 to the power of 4 minus 6, which is 5 to the power of negative 2. In order to understand what this negative exponent means, write the expression in a different way. 5 to the 4 over 5 to the 6 is 4 factors of 5 over 6 factors of 5. 4 factors of 5 cancel out, leaving 2 factors of 5 in the denominator which can be written as 1 over 5 to the power of 2. So you can see that 5 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 5 to the positive 2. So the rule is rewrite a negative exponent as the inverse of the same power. For this expression, w to the power of negative 3 is rewritten as 1 over w to the 3. In most cases, when you simplify an expression, you rewrite all negative exponents. For this example, begin by using the multiplication rule and add the exponents, 3 plus negative 6 which is 3 to the negative 3. This is rewritten as 1 over 3 to the positive 3, which is 1 over 27. By the way, don't try to multiply 3 times 3 to get 9 to the power of 3 plus negative 6. You have to apply the rules of exponents and simplify before you evaluate. For this final example, begin by using the division rule and subtract the exponents, negative 4 minus negative 2, which is x to the power of negative 4 plus 2 which is x to the power of negative 2. Rewrite the negative exponent, and you have 1 over x to the power of 2. This lesson has been brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.